curious about McTavish. What do you think? Well, to me, she seemed like just another starry-eyed pigeon. I wonder if she really does have money. I mean, we, maybe we should raise the price of her lesson. <laughs> Probably a rich, bored housewife looking to put a little excitement in her life. Yeah, either that or a plant. No. I'm not saying it's impossible, but... Careful. She may act like a ditz, but you can never be sure. Margaret! Just the girl I wanted to see. Matthew Irving, this is Margaret McTavish, my prize pupil. How do you do, Mr. Irving? Pleasure to meet you, Miss McTavish. Anyone who comes so highly recommended from the likes of Hannibal here must be as talented as she is beautiful. Well, I owe it all to Mr. Hannibal. Uh, speaking of which, um, here's your money. One hundred dollars? Oh, yes. Thank you. Ordinarily, I'd be a wreck spending so much money on myself. But this has been my lucky week. Oh, how's that? You'll never guess what happened. You married a millionaire? <laughs> I wish. No, I won a competition on the radio. Oh? Ah. I mean, me, of all people, I've never won anything before. What did you have to do? I guess the mystery tune. It was from Dreamgirls, which is my favorite musical. I guess that figures, really, you know, my being an aspiring star and all. <laughs> What did you win? It was great. I won this whole new wardrobe and lunch at a really posh restaurant. Um, it was called the Vast Iron. Do you know it? Yes, I've eaten there once or twice. It's great. It, it, it's the nicest place I've ever been to in my life. That was your first time there? Oh, yes. Are you kidding? Huh, I'd be lucky if I can afford yogurt for my lunch up until <laughs> now. And would you believe who I bumped into when I was there? Roland Gilbert. <laughs> oh, I double wish. <laughs> No, it was one of your students, uh, Melissa. Oh, really? Oh. Did she win a contest, too? No. She works there. Can you believe it? What a terrific job. I really envy her. I wish I had a job like that. What exactly do you do for a living, Miss McTavish? Well, what I want more than anything else is to dance. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'll, I'll go and get changed right now if you're ready to see my audition. Absolutely. If you're as good as Hannibal says you are, I'm in for a treat. Go change and let's see what you can do. show a lot of potential. I don't usually take on students myself, but in your case, I'd be willing to make an exception. Thank you, Mr. Hovey. I was planning on leaving Port Charles very soon. I have to get back to New York. Roland has so much for me to do. But I'd hate to see so much potential go to waste. It would be a shame. So, Miss McTavish, if you're willing to apply yourself and work harder than you ever have before, I'm willing to stay here and personally supervise your advanced lessons. Oh, I'm honored. H how many more lessons do you think it will take before I'm ready to audition for Roland Gilbert? Well, that depends entirely upon you. The faster you progress, the sooner you'll get to audition for him. Oh, I see. So, shall I plan on staying in town? I, I, I don't know. I don't think you realize what a rare opportunity this is. I mean, Matthew Irving doesn't offer to work with just anyone. Oh, I, I do understand, and I'm really grateful. It's just that, um, would your rates be the same as Mr. Hannibal's? I could consider that. And how many more lessons do you think I'd need? Why don't we evaluate that the next time? It's just, I hope I can raise enough money, you know, to go all the way with this. Do you have any idea of how many girls in your position would do absolutely anything to be able to afford even an hour of this man's time? You're right. I don't want you to think that I'm not willing to make the sacrifice. Good. I look forward to working with you. <sighs> uh, here, I'll help you with that. Oh, no, it's okay. Really. No, I don't mind. Oh. Taping the lessons, Margaret? Whatever for? I hope you have a damn good explanation for this. Are you up here? Holly? Well, I guess you won't be needing this any longer. We're waiting. I'm 
sorry to hold you off. I'll be in a few minutes. Not till we get an explanation. I dropped my bag. It's quite simple. I do it all the time. I forget to drop the darn zipper. I, I pick it up and I pick it up from the wrong end and then everything just slips out. An explanation for why you're carrying a tape recorder. Well, the tape recorder or that? Answer the question. Well, certainly. I have a perfectly reasonable explanation. We'd like to hear it. And you shall. Just give me a second. And I'll see if this is broken or not and then I'd be perfectly happy to tell you. The explanation, Miss McTavish. Well, it's just that I've been so worried. About what? About my dancing. I figured that if I carried a tape recorder with me with the music on it, that I could practice the dance steps any time. I see. Like when you're grocery shopping or sitting on a bus. I know it sounds silly, but yes, I practice in my head. In your head? Yes, I picture myself doing the dance routines that you've shown me. And then when I get home and I really can practice them, I often find out that I've worked out some of the kinks. Oh, how conscientious. Well, I've always, always been a perfectionist. Not so fast. Really, there is just music on here. Then why was the record button pushed down? The record button? I saw it. Well, it must have been pushed down accidentally when it fell. Well, let's hear it. Really, there is just music on here. Not so far back. Move it forward a bit, please. A little more. Matthew Irving, this is Margaret McTavish, my prize pupil. How do you do, Mr. Irving? A pleasure to meet you, Miss McTavish. Anyone who comes so highly recommended from the likes of Hannibal here must be as talented as she is beautiful. I owe Mr. Hannibal everything. No, we must have recorded right over the music. I don't think I can dance to that, can I? <laughs> if that is what you were doing. Well, what would I be doing? You tell us. Well, I can't imagine what... Oh, no, you're thinking that I'm recording your lessons so I can sell them. That's one explanation. Well, I... I would never, I swear, do anything of the sort like that. Is it... Well, just to show you that I, I'm not up to anything at all, I'll just, I'll just erase the whole tape here wouldn't want to do anything that would jeopardize my lessons. But don't bring it in here again. I won't. You can be sure of that. Please understand, we have to be very cautious about this sort of thing. Of course. I hope this won't interfere with my getting an audition with Roland Joubert. Oh, of course not. As long as you keep up with your lessons. Oh, I intend to. It's just not easy raising the money. It'll be worth it. If Mr. Irving says you have potential, he means it. I have work to do. Miss McTavish, I'll talk to you later. Uh, I suppose I'd better be running along. Uh, look, don't let what happened upset you. I won't. From now on, I'll reserve all my practice for at home. <laughs> Goodbye now. Hannibal Dance Studio. Yes, yes, this is Mr. Hannibal. Yes, that's right. I see. Well, there aren't very many spots still available, however... If you came in right away, we'll see if we can still get an audition for you. What did you say your name was? Crystal Harris. Ah, what a lovely name. You can go now, Miss McTavish. Same time tomorrow. Do you know where we're located? Yes, that's right. Fifth and Maple. Hannibal wants me over there right away. Ah, good. The fish took the bait. Well, you handled that quite well. Well, after three years on Vice, I've had a lot of practice at this kind of thing. Do you know what you're supposed to be doing? Dance up a storm and act desperate for stardom. And don't worry, we'll have a mic on you. If there's any trouble, a couple of the boys will be right there. <laughs> I can handle myself. Do you have the mock money? In my bag. Well, I guess that's it then. Good luck. Well, don't worry, Commissioner. By the end of the day, these guys' dancing days will be over. I hope so. I'll talk to you later, Crystal. How about that gal? She's really something, isn't she? Well, she certainly has a lot of confidence. 
Yeah, I bet you're relieved now that we have a policewoman on the case instead of your wife. Yeah. However, I am a little concerned. About what? It's better qualifications. I mean, she just doesn't come across like a dancer. Well, she isn't what we call a dancer, but she's a judo expert. What did you pick her for, then? Well, because she's the closest thing we had to a dancer. Well, what about that other person at the policeman's ball, uh, that uh, Miss Flash dancer? She where, came where? down with the flu. You know, I find it really hard to believe that there's no one else on the force but her that can dance. Robert, will you get off my back? If this had been a bowling scam, you could have picked anybody from the entire force. All right, well, I guess Crystal's gonna have to do that. And she'll do fine. Now, if you're through with me, I'll go back to headquarters. Yeah, yeah, I've got some computer work to do. By the way, uh, where's Holly? Uh, probably out shopping. I think they stay up and late tonight. Yeah, I bet she didn't take it very kindly when you took her off the case. Let's say that again. She giving you a hard time? Yeah, but I really can't blame her. I mean, she's got all this excess energy, nowhere to channel it. I guess I'd be going crazy myself. You know, you should find a hobby for that young lady. Something <laughs> to keep her busy. Believe me, Bert, I'm trying. I'm really trying. See ya. I'm so late. It's all right, love. Uh, what do you got there? I'm just hanging out my coat. Oh. So, what have you been doing? Oh, burning up the old computer keys. Yes. Fingers are still hot. And getting hotter. Complaining? Now, curious. What's up? Since when are you questioning my kisses? Oh. Just your motives, that's all. Lust. Must have been quite a bill you totted up at Delfina's. Who says I was at Delfina's? So where do you do your shopping these days? Well, actually, I wasn't going to go, and then Tiffany called at the last minute. She needed some advice on a dress, so I went on over. How's work? Anything exciting? Not really. Actually, I was finding it rather hard to concentrate. Thinking of me? As a matter of fact, yes. I was getting worried. About what? Well, you didn't tell me where you were going. I didn't think that shopping with Tiffany was something that you needed to be abreast of. Uh-huh. Well, what did you buy? Nothing. I couldn't find anything I liked. Good Lord, that's unusual. You make me sound like the mad shopper of Port Charles. You're keeping something from me? You have a very curious nature. No, no. Where you're concerned, it's called instinct. OK, you're right. You caught me. I'm guilty. What's the crime? Failing to stop at the supermarket. I didn't buy anything for dinner. I'm afraid we'll have to go out. Ah, guess again. Don't tell me you gave in and actually ordered pizza. Good Lord, no. No, 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 no. But moi has taken it upon himself to prepare the evening repast. My hearing must be a little off. I could have sworn you just said you were going to make dinner. Correct, my dear. This evening, the Scorpios spend a quiet night at home. I bet I know why. You've got that look in your eye. Do I? Yes, you do. It's not a home-cooked meal you're after, either, is it? Mm, it's the dessert I'm thinking about. But I was right. <laughs> well, is there anything the matter with wanting to be a daddy? No one. I'm perfectly willing to be a mummy. But? Just as long as you understand that there are other things that I'm capable of doing as well. Just so long as the other things don't involve police work. I'm very good at it. Ollie, you lay off this Hannibal business. It seems such a shame for all my work to go to waste. It's not going to waste. I have a competent policewoman on the job, and she is at the studio now as we speak. Well, I must say, you certainly went all out making dinner. Anything for you, my little chickadee? The best Iram just, just pales in comparison. They've often asked me to cook for them, you know. The thought of you slaving over a hot can opener all day. Yeah, well, just... could have been worse. Yeah, we might have had to eat out. You might have cooked. I'm very gourmet. Mm, it's just the little mundane bits that sort of mess you up a little. Hmm? Yes, well, certainly neither one of us are going to be winning the Happy Homemaker Award. Well, it's just a cross we'll have to bear. Besides, it's not what we eat that's terribly important. <clears throat> you just proved that. It's eating it and then getting on to much more interesting things. Boiled again. Who in the hell's this? If it's Julia Childs, she's too late. 
<laughs> hey, Robert. Sorry to bother you. Oh, please come in. I want to hear all about the Hamilton business. Thank you. Oh, hello, hello Holly. Um, I'll leave. No, 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 no. You stay right there. I want you to hear how Officer Harris here has tied up the, the whole Hannibal case. <clears throat> I'm, uh, I'm afraid she didn't. What happened? I'm sorry, Commissioner. I guess I blew it. Well, how? Well, I went in. I did my audition number, but uh, Irving wouldn't go for it. Well, didn't you give him the money? Well, I tried, but uh, Hannibal wanted to take it, but Irving wouldn't let him have it. He insisted I wasn't Gilbert's type. Well, couldn't you find some way to convince them? I tried everything. He wouldn't go for it. Robert, I think this Irving is a pretty smart cookie. I have a feeling he smelled cop. Oh, great. Well, we could send in another policewoman. Well, you said Crystal's the only dancer we've got. Well, she is. What's the point? Well, if he isn't going to fall for my act, he's certainly not going to go for someone else's. Look, this really uh, puts us under the gun, time-wise. Do you think they know that we're on to them? It's likely. In which case, they want to tie this scam up quick and get out of town as fast as possible. So what do we do? I don't know. I'll have to sleep on it. I'm sorry, Commissioner. Did the best you could. Well, I'll check with you in the morning. Yeah. Good night, Holly. Good night. Well, that changes our plans for this evening. Oh? And why should it? Time problems. I mean, now you haven't got a policewoman. You haven't got me. You're going to be up all night trying to figure out how you're going to get Hannibal and Irving. By yourself. Shut up and eat. Well, going somewhere? Uh, yes. Oh, no goodbyes. Didn't want to interrupt you whilst you were working. Oh, ever the thought for one, eh? Yes. Uh, well, uh, I'm off. Uh, well, wait a minute. It's pouring out there. So? You're going to get wet. Uh, I'm prepared. Oh. I'll bet you are. I have some errands to run. Oh, listen to this. Always busy, eh? Even in a downpour, can't forget your wifely duties. <laughs> Well, I'm not going to have any of it. Yeah, I have to go. No, no. I just can't stand the idea of you setting foot out there and getting so much as one little pinky wet. I'm English. I'm used to the rain. Still, I positively forbid it. I really do have to go. Darling, look. I can't think of one single reason why you should be out in this weather. Can you? Now, let's get you out of this nasty old raincoat no, here. No, Darling, I do not want you to go out in that rain. But I won't melt. But you know how easily you catch cold. I hardly ever catch cold. Of course you do. Remember the other night we were watching that movie, uh, uh, Hurricane, I mean. You almost got pneumonia. Oh, very funny. I didn't even see that movie. Oh, as I recall, you're right. You started sneezing shortly after I read to you the TV critique. Since when have you thought of me as so delicate? I always have. News to me. Well, it started shortly after you got those blisters. What blisters? Ones you picked up at Hannibal's dance studio. Well, we don't have to worry about that anymore, do we? I hope not. You know, I would think you'd have more important things on your mind. Darling, your welfare is the most important thing to me. Well, what about... What about finding another policewoman? Since... What was her name? Crystal? Uh, yeah, botched it up so well. Oh, well, I'll manage. Don't worry. You know, it pains me to think of you so hard at work in your communications room, desperately trying to come up with a new plan of attack. Yes, well, darling. Police matters are my business and not your problem. Lord knows you certainly have enough problems. Well, I'll leave you with them. Goodbye. Uh, wait. Holly. Bye. 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 Oh, oh, Holly. <laughs> Well, I know it sounds like a lot. Sounds like it is. Well, nevertheless, that's what Irving is asking for. I have to pay Irving $500 so as I can audition for Gilbert? That's basically correct. But I thought I was going to audition anyway. 
The lessons are from me. The audition is Irving's department. Is this the way it's always done? I assure you, it's par for the course. It's a bribe. No. Think of it as a, a token of your esteem. I won't do it. Do you have to pay insurance on your car? Yes. And how much is that? Several hundred dollars, but I don't have a car anymore. But when you did, did it bother you to pay that? A little bit, yes. But, but you needed insurance. Yes, but... Well, think of this as insurance. On your career. But if I'm good, wouldn't Gilbert want to audition me anyway? Margaret, don't you think you're being a little unfair? Me? But think of all the money Irving has spent on you. What money? In a few short weeks, he's given you the end result of his years of experience. Do you think that experience comes cheap? W well, no, I suppose... Years of dancing in drafty rehearsal halls, living in cold water flats, scrimping and saving. For what? For knowledge, Margaret. Knowledge he could one day pass on to his students and perhaps spare them the trials he had to endure on his path to fame. Well, I, I appreciate it. But Do you? Do you really? Here you stand on the threshold of stardom, balking over a piddly $500. It's not to me. In six months' time, you won't think twice about spending that much on a new pair of dance shoes. The fact remains, I don't have $500. Perhaps uh, you could borrow the money from one of your relatives. I'm sure they'd be glad to invest in your career. I suppose that's one way of looking at it. Look, I assure you, I deplore this as much as you do. That's the way it's always been done. Well, somebody should change it. Traditions die hard, especially in the theater. What can I say? That's show business. What can I do about it? Well, talk to your boss. Tell him I'd make a great waitress or, or a bus girl. Look, I've only been here a few weeks myself. I really doubt he's going to listen to me. I need to pop up, though. Maybe you can win another contest. Oh, if that chance is that, I really need your help. I I'll bet you make really good tips here at the Vest Iron. Yeah, but the more bus girls, the less customers, the less tips. I've got money problems on my own. Can't be as bad as mine. Oh, no. Try needing $500. $500? That's all. Why? But well, that's exactly the amount I need. For what? Hannibal. Me too. Really? Why? Well, something's come up. Yeah, I see. It's funny we're in the same boat. No, well, at least I'm working. Funny Irving, hadn't it? What about Irving? I, I don't think I can tell you. So don't. Why not? At least if, if this comes through, then maybe I can help you out when I make it. What do you mean, when you make it? Hannibal says that the only way I can get an audition with Gilbert is if I pay Irving $500. I can't believe that. What's the matter? Forget it. Is that why you need the money, too? I guess there's no harm in telling you. I mean, you don't have the money yet, either. Yeah, I gotta pay him off 500 big ones. It's a lot of money, isn't it? If that's what it takes to get on Broadway, then that's what it takes. So y you don't think you'll be able to get me a job here? Okay, it's really no use. I mean, I know for a fact that they're not hiring. Well, if you hear of anything... You uh, suppose the taxpayers will buy the fact that we're doing business here in the Versailles room? Well, we are. Mm. You better be careful. I mean, uh, someone may take away your limo. Never gonna let me forget that, are you? <laughs> Noisy today, isn't it? Hey, there's Holly. Hmm. So I see. Yeah, she's standing with that bus girl. Probably looking for a table. Why don't we ask her to join us? Oh, I wouldn't bother. 
you think I could leave the back way through the kitchen? Uh, sorry, it's employees only. I mean, if I let you, I think I'd just get into trouble. Oh, all right then. Well, I'll see you. Only if it's about the special. I hear it's very good today. That's good coffee. Pete's headquarters. <coughs> now, is that a hint? Lee, look, because I say it's raining, doesn't mean that I want the city to pick up the tab for an umbrella. Sorry. I've got the budget on the brain. Well, I guess that's all we've talked about. Let's change the subject, shall we? Good idea. What's Holly up to now? Mm. Usual. Of course, she was very preoccupied earlier. Mm. More coffee? No, thank you. It is not like Holly to walk by without even saying hello. And it's not like you not to ask her to join us. Look at the time, will you? We've got to be getting out to my place. Uh, waiter. Well, now, that I know is a hint. Mind my own business, huh? check through these, uh, these department figures again. Well, we can never be too prepared for the big city council fight now, can we? So, you agree? We do need more foot patrols. Well, of course I agree. That's not what I'm worried about. Oh, come on. The council will come up with the money. <laughs> How can you be so sure of that? Because you, in your own eloquent way, will persuade them. Oh, you're throwing this hot potato right back at me, is that it? That's why Dow is the mayor and moi isn't. I wonder if Luke would like another traveling companion. I'm sure he's quite happy with his wife. <laughs> well, here she is. Hello, Holly. Still raining out, is it? Oh, pouring. Did you get all of your uh, errands done? Just about. Oh, it's terrible weather to be running errands in. Exactly what I said. Oh, it doesn't bother me. Never complains. Isn't she something? Isn't Anything for you, darling. Can't you just see her running from shop to shop? Leaping puddles with a single bound, being lashed by wind and rain, and all in the pursuit of the ultimate bargain. Some thanks, I guess, isn't it, Lee? <laughs> well, I think your husband's quite a killer. Funny, after all of that, you're single and you're empty-handed. Not all errands involve spending money. At least not after the initial investment, eh? Uh, shall I make us some tea? No, 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 no. Your feet must be killing you. Have a seat, love. No, really, I'm quite comfortable, thank you. Maybe you're hungry, then. Uh, actually, I am. Can I fix anybody something to eat? No, we ate at the Versailles room. Right. Uh, sorry I didn't stop by and say hello. Busy with the errands, no doubt. Well, it's just that you seemed so involved in your conversation that I didn't want to interrupt. Oh, so thoughtful. Listen to him, never complains. Yes, well, I, I think I, I'd better be going. No, please, don't go. No, um, uh, stay, finish your business. I, I'm going to run up to No, no, you won't. Lee, this has been a pleasure. Well, I can't, we must do this more often. <laughs> I say this, it has, it has been your office. Thing. Your office tomorrow, 9 o'clock, right? right? Goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye. Hold it. I'd have to change out of these wet clothes, you know. Get them off here. Well, Robert, what are you thinking? I'm thinking of an explanation, my sweet. Sit down. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. You did? I did not. Polly, you positively reek of intrigue. That's because I'm wearing mystery evening. I should hope you should notice at $50 an ounce. <laughs> I'm aware of the fact you visited Hannibal today. You had no right following me. I didn't. Me. With you, I call it fighting fire with fire. I didn't lie about where I was going. No, you didn't do much of a job covering your tracks either. I can take care of myself. And I said this could get dangerous. I went and I came back. Well, my limbs are still intact. Doesn't that prove anything to mm -hmm. you? How stubborn you are. You're the one who's being stubborn. Good Lord, you're the one who messed up the case too. Remains to be seen. You sent in a policewoman, and she botched it up. I'll find another. Meanwhile, Hannibal and Irving will have skipped town, will be sipping piña coladas on some beach in Rio, paid for partially by your money. Or should I say, the taxpayers' money. Let me worry about the taxpayers' money. You can't just sit back and let them get away with this scam. I don't intend to. 
Well, what are you going to do? I'll work it out. How? Holly, look. I have dealt with tougher cases than this one before where the stakes were infinitely higher. Well, it's some news for you. The stakes in this are getting higher every day. And what does that mean? Wouldn't you like to know? Holly. Will you let me stay on the case? Depends on the information. Hannibal wants another $500. What for? Well, he says that he needs $500 to bribe Irving to let me audition for Gilbert. He said exactly the same thing to Melissa, and I'll bet he said it to all of his other star pupils. This certainly changes things. You can't pull me off this now. They were too close. Look, if I agree to let you stay on this case, you've got to promise me to be extra careful. But I've been so far. The point is, the scam is now coming to an end. Irving and Hannibal will be doubly on guard. You can't do anything which may arouse their suspicions. Does this mean you'll let me stay on the case? Who are you calling? Headquarters. But Bert, listen, get me $500 in marked bills for Holly. That's right, I said, for Holly. Please? Hmm? Yeah? Yeah. Bad for your ulcer. Oh, come on, come on, come on. I like them. All right. I'll what do you them. got there? I don't know. I'll taste these all night, but it's what. You mind if I use my finger? Please. There we go. I love this stuff, Robert. I've noticed. Oh, boys. Oh, here's one. Aggravated assault is down 10%. Now, that's not bad. Yeah, but armed robbery is up, and that ain't good. All right, let's see. Something else has got to be good along here. Oh, boy, I can taste that again. Yeah. Am I interrupting? No, of oh, course. Come Holly. in. Bert and I are having a lunchtime pig out here while we go over the January crime figures. Would you like you to sit down? No, no. How about thanks. some lunch? It's, no, it's delicious. Really. No, yeah. thank you. I, I won't be staying. I just came by to collect my $500. Are you sure you don't want to uh, partake of this feast here? No, thank you. It doesn't look terribly appetizing. Yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> Here we are. There you go, Robert. $500, small bills, all marked. I've uh, checked the count. If you'll just sign for it, I'll keep us honest. We've had this ready, Holly, ever since your husband put you back on the case. Okay. Now, the bills aren't new, which is good. So it'd look as if you had them stashed underneath your mattress. As Robert probably told you, I've been deliberately stalling paying Hannibal. I told him I was having a hard time coming up with the money. Good, make him sweat a bit. Oh, he's definitely sweating it, Robert. I know that some of the other girls still haven't been able to get the money together, and uh, I didn't want to get too much ahead of them. Okay. Look, it would really help most if you can find out more about this, um, this audition. Where it is, when it is, and how they're going to get there. You're whatever. I'll do my best. Thank you very much for the money, Bert. And, right. uh, I'll see you later. Count on it. Robert. Yeah? Do you mind a comment? Go ahead. You know, I don't like any of this. Holly's no longer playing a game. This is very serious stuff. She's in deep water. I know. Well, then, for the record, I'd like to say that I think it's dangerous, and I also think it's wrong. I agree with you, 100%. Let's get back to these uh, January crime figures, shall we? No. Oh, but... Uh, car theft, down. But armed robbery is up, 9%. Now, why is that? $480 and 20 makes $500. Well, you certainly waited for the last minute. I know, and I'm very sorry, but I did tell you that I'd have a hard time raising so much money as it is. I had to borrow from friends. You won't be sorry. Waiting so long to pay doesn't mean that I'll lose out, does it? Fortunately for you, no. Oh, well, I'm certainly glad about that. You know, I'm so excited about this, I've hardly been sleeping. When will we be going to New York to audition for Gilbert? Tomorrow. Tomorrow? 
Well, that's wonderful. Uh, what time? Well, I haven't worked out the specifics yet. You'll just have to be ready to go on a moment's notice. I understand. All 20 girls will be leaving from here by bus. 20 girls? But I thought Gilbert needed 10 hopscotch girls for his new musical. Does that mean that I, I might be rejected? Really, Margaret, you worry too much. I can tell you right now you'll be a shoe-in. But 10 girls won't be. On the contrary. All the girls that I've trained and selected will have a part in the show. But how, if only 10 are needed? Well, Raleigh's changed all of the choreography. He now needs 20 dancing girls. Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> and we'll be leaving tomorrow, you said? Yes, I've chartered a bus. And I've decided to book you all into the Hotel Royale for two nights. No doubt you realize that's a deluxe hotel. Wouldn't that cost an awful lot of money? It's my treat. You girls have all worked so hard, I've decided to pay for all your hotel bills and, of course, to pay for your meals while you're there. That's marvelous. That, that's so generous of you. I, I never expected anything like that. Well, I'm delighted you're pleased. Look, now, if you'll excuse me, I have some phone calls to make. I want to be sure the accommodations are excellent and I want to check on the chartered bus. Uh, what time did you say the bus would be leaving? I didn't say. What I told you was you have to be ready at a moment's notice. Now, go get in a good night's sleep. Tomorrow may be your most important day of your life. Oh, I know that. One more thing. Look, I'm in a hurry. What time should I call? Early. Tomorrow your great adventure is going to begin. Pleasant dreams. Juvenile offenses, 104. Now, if we break that down by misdemeanors and felonies, it comes. Robert, I'm, I'm sorry, but I just can't stop thinking of Holly. What about her? Forgive me if I sound out of line, but aren't you worried about it? You agreed with me that this scam could become dangerous. Yeah, I agree it's dangerous, and I'm worried about it. Well, then why the hell aren't we doing something about it? You have a suggestion? Yes, yes. One suggestion would be to put a policewoman on it with her. Somebody to go along as a, a friend, something like that. You really think Hannibal is going to buy the fact she's going to turn up with a friend just to go along for the ride? Yeah, yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I spoke out of turn. It was a bad idea, but I still don't like this whole thing. Well, I don't like it either, but at least it's winding up. And you're going to let it just end without doing anything about it, is that it? Bert, far from it. Look, the big thing for Holly to do is to find out exactly how Hannibal intends to collect the rest of the cash. Okay, and, and then what happens? Well, once he has all the cash, he'll split. I mean, she's not going to be in any trouble up to then. I mean, when he's got the cash, when he's gone, she'll be safe and out of it. Oh, wonderful. And he just leaves town with the dough. Come on, Bert. You know, be better than that. Well, tell me something. Once I know Holly's safe, we take over. Oh, now you've told me something. Then we go in and we put the collar on. Right, a nice tight one. But however, that's just between you and I. As far as Holly's concerned, she's running the whole show. And we know Hannibal's plan. We move in. Well, Robert, I think we've accomplished quite a bit today. You're right, that lunch did it for me. <laughs> I'll be tasting it all night, unfortunately. Oh, but wait till you hear. Oh, I'm sorry. Am I interrupting? I waited till the end of the day. No, oh. It's okay, love. It's right. What happened? We're almost there. Hannibal took the money. Oh, he certainly did, but there's more. Tomorrow is D-Day. In what way? We leave for Manhattan. All ten girls? Uh, no. Now it's twenty. Twenty? Twenty? I mean, how did he explain that? Oh, very smoothly. According to him, Gilbert now needs 20 hopscotch girls for his new musical. And naturally, Hannibal is providing all of them. Well, how are you getting to New York? Uh, he's chartering a bus to take all of us girls to the Big Apple. Oh, and he's put a little icing on the cake. That's typical of a good con artist. Such as? Hannibal 
says that he personally will pay for the chartered bus. And because we're such star material, he's going to put us up at a fancy hotel called the Hotel Royale. He's paying for that too? He says he is. The best rooms, all of our meals, for 20 girls. All right. When does this bus leave Port Charles? Ah, that's where he got a little bit tricky. You wouldn't say when. What do you mean? Or how do you know when to meet? Well, we have to keep checking in with him tomorrow, and then he'll tell us what time. He's playing a cool right to the end. Yes. Uh, I told you, he's a master. I told you right from the very beginning. Obviously, some of the girls haven't paid yet, so he's going to let the rest of us sweat it out. And they were the instructions, that you just keep checking with him tomorrow? Yes, early, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. I mean, he can't stall forever. He's going to keep on putting pressure onto the other girls, and then away we go. A bus to nowhere. Exactly. As soon as he gets his last dime, he's going to skip town, and then I'm going to nail him. You know something? I'm really looking forward to it. I'm going to really get that creep. I'm really going to get him. I'm going to nail him to the wall. Yeah, I've got all my best men on standby. Okay, that just leaves us with a few uh, logistics to deal with. Uh, sounds like we're pretty well covered. Yeah, just about. By the end of the day, the only people getting lessons will be Hannibal and Irving. A brief course in why crime doesn't pay. <laughs> Good morning. Oh, hello. Hello, Harley. How at it, are you? Well, we're just going over the Hannibal case. Yeah, reviewing a few facts. Such as? I've come up with a surefire way to nail both Hannibal and Irving. Oh, you have, have you? And what's that? Uh, well, there's no need to go into it all with you. I am part of this, I know remember? that. I know that, love. But the thing is that a lot of this is just uh, police work. And uh, what does the civilian get to do? We want you to nail both Hannibal and correction. We want you to set up both Hannibal and Irving. <clears throat> right. Good. Uh, th what I'm going to do... Uh, and after that, well, police will move in and take over. Take over? It'll be all over before you know it. Well, look, 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 please, look, my head's full of thoughts at the moment. I've got to work out a few things with Bert. As soon as I've done that, then I'll sit down and tell you exactly what I want you to do, all right? What do you mean we may not have enough proof against them? All I'm saying is that we should consider that. Hannibal took my money for dancing lessons, promising me an audition for a Broadway show. Then he demanded another... $500, saying Irving needed it to guarantee the audition. It's a scam, Robert. Harley, the problem is even with all the evidence we have, scam cases are always the hardest to prove. I'll testify against them. Your word against theirs. Is my word good enough? It's not enough. Why? You got your dancing lessons, didn't you? Not all of them. Hannibal will say you did. Well, what about the bribe? We have no proof that you're not just another disgruntled customer out to get them. What about the other 19 girls they ripped off? They'll testify. I doubt it. Why? Because they won't want to admit they were taken in, in the first place. 50% of them will be too embarrassed, and the other 50% will be too scared to testify. No, they want to band together to get Hannah. Look, I can't take the chance on building a case around 19 girls who may or may not decide to act. Well, just one moment. Look, I it's thought right. this all the way through, Holly, and I've come up with what I consider to be a surefire way oh. to get Hannibal nerving. You have, or all alone? Well, actually, what I need from them is a confession, preferably on tape. If I can do that, I've got him. Can I do anything to help? Aren't you supposed to call up Hannibal to find out what time the bus leaves for New York? Yes, I do remember something like that, yes. Right, why don't you sit down? Bert, you get the phone, please. Yeah. Why don't you sit down and uh, call him? You talk to Hannibal as soon as you've spoken to him. Well, then you talk to me. Well, that makes sense. Would you like to find out where the bus is leaving from as of well? Of course. And once that bus takes off, we'll arrange to have it stopped. Yeah, you'll jump into a cab and go straight back to the studio. That's when I get Hannibal to admit to the scam. That's when you'll buzz your buzzer. Why? Because the men I have staked out around the place will then move in. Just a minute, now, Rob. Look, it won't be easy to get uh, Hannibal to own up to this scam. Uh, but if you can't, don't uh, feel bad about it. I'm sure I can. I've made tougher customers than these two talk before, and I intend to get them, but as long as you're going to be there, I guess it's worth a try. Uh, that is the least of my worries. There's no reason to be concerned about your safety. Oh, that's not it, either. Look, Holly, 
I'm sorry, there was no time to argue about this. I fully realise you're full of good suggestions and all, but I have all the bases covered. All right? So, could you please just make your call? Well, would you like to dial it, or do you think I can manage it alone? Just make the call, love. Hannibal Dance Studio. Uh, yes, Mr. Hannibal, it's Margaret McTavish. Oh, Margaret. Ready for the big day? Oh, yes, I'm so excited. I could, I could hardly sleep last night. Oh, glad to hear it. W what? It's the sign of a pro. If you weren't nervous, I would be nervous, darling. Oh, oh well, I feel better now, then. Um, I, I think I'm going to look a wreck, though. Well, catch up on your sleep on the bus. That's how we do it in this business. Oh, okay. What time does the bus leave? 12.30 from 2nd and Grand. But I've asked all the girls to meet me at the studio at noon. Okay. I'll be there. Don't forget. Bus leaves at 12.30. Studio at noon. Got it. So? Hmm? Well? We're to meet at the studio at 2, and then the bus leaves from 2nd and Grand at uh, 2.30. Perfect. Gives us plenty of time to stake out the place. Okay, don't forget to buzz your buzzer as soon as you get to the studio. Oh, that should be about what, Bird? You reckon 2.45? Yeah, that sounds good to me. Sounds right. All right. Uh, where are you going? Oh, just going to run a few errands. Well, don't be late getting back. Timing is rather critical here. I better get back to headquarters and arrange the stakeout on the studio. Okay. Don't get your men there too early. We don't want to take a chance of them being seen. Oh, yeah, that's right. We won't move in until the last minute. Now, Hannibal and Irving won't have collected all the money yet. Some of the girls probably won't bring it in until after two. Well, that's good. It gives us plenty of time for the setup. Remember, Robert, it'll take Holly at least a half an hour once she gets off that bus to get back to the dance studio. Okay. Make sure there's someone covering that bus. All right, I'll put a squad car to patrol second and grand. Uh, make that an unmarked. We know what uh, Irving's nose is like where the police are concerned. Yeah, we'll do. Uh, now, we got Vice, yeah. front and rear at the studio, patrol car on the same street as the bus and one following it. Uh-huh. Well, it seems like we're well covered, not to mention the ever-alert Bert Ramsey at the ready. Hey, now I'm relieved. Listen, we've got this thing so well covered with so much manpower, there's nothing to worry about as far as Holly being in any danger. Okay. <laughs> Melissa. I don't know why we have to wait just because she's late. Well, I'm sure she has a good reason. Uh, look, it's five after twelve. If she's not here in two minutes, we'll all leave. Oh, okay, well, I hope she doesn't miss it. I've been for so long. Uh, have you got everything? Yeah. All right, so everyone is... Melissa, this is most unprofessional. I know, but I had a really hard time coming up with the rest of the money. But you have? Here it is. Another minute, and you would have missed your chance of a lifetime. All right, girls, let's go. Oh, only tomorrow. Well, dilly dallying, we're late enough as it is. I know the bus will be at the corner waiting to take you to the Hotel Royale in New York City. The Hotel Royale? <laughs> Sounds so glamorous. Keep moving. Hurry up. Come on. Keep moving. Oh, thank you. Aren't you going to come too? Uh, Irving and I have a little work to catch up on. We're going to drive down later in our car. But how will we know what to do? There's nothing to worry about. We'll meet you at the hotel this evening and give you all the information you need about your auditions tomorrow. Of course, your jobs are already assured. This time tomorrow, you'll be working on Broadway. Go on now. And we'll be working on our sunny tans in Mexico. Ole. Arriba. Listen, this is really important. I'm just trying to help you. The bus is going nowhere. Oh, 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 o
Oh, what? I think Irving and Hannibal are the ones who are up to something. If you don't listen to me, oh, they're going to get away with it. Oh. What are you oh, talking yeah. about? And there's a room, empty room in there. If we could just go in there, I could talk to you. Just listen, we'll miss the bus. Okay? Just give me two minutes. If you want to get on the bus after he you hear what I have to say, then go ahead. Fine, but I guarantee you won't. Give me a good reason why I should listen to you. Yeah, yeah. Right. Your money. Hey, that's good enough for me. Listen, lead on. Okay, oh, just in here, hurry. Let him make the pause. Maybe we'll be waiting. I don't want to miss it now. Really? All right, Bert, what do you got for me? I just heard from the unmarked. We have staked out at Second and Grand. The bus is there already. What about the girls? No, not yet. No, it's only 12.30. I guess it's a bit early yet. Come to think of it, I'm surprised that bus is there this soon. Yeah, so am I. Okay, then keep me posted on when the girls arrive. Will do. As soon as you do, I'll give the alert for men to move into position around the studio. Okay, boss. Get away whilst I'm uh, explaining this. But I want to know what's going on, too. I promise I'll tell you later. It's important that someone keep an eye on them right now. Do you say so? Thank you. Uh, listen, Hannibal and Irving aren't going to like this if they know that we're here. Once you have heard what I have to say, you won't care what they think. Get on with it, then. Okay, listen, I hate to tell you all this, but you've been taken in. <laughs> Hannibal and Irving are crooks. There is no audition with Gilbert. Oh, How do you know that? Because I phoned Gilbert. He's not holding audition, auditions for hopscotch girls. It's a whole, it's a scam. Oh, well, I paid $500 for this audition. Yeah, yeah. We are. How do you know you're not lying to us? Yeah. Why would I do that? Oh, so you could get rid of all of us and have the audition with Gilbert all to yourself. Yeah, you yeah. lied to me. Oh, sure. Your name isn't even what you said it was. But that's because if you knew my real name, it would blow my cover. Cover? <laughs> are you a cop? No, but I'm married to one. I'm the police commissioner's wife. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, I don't believe it. Good. Wait. I can show you my ID card. Right. Look. Yeah, I'd like to see this. It's got Holly Scorpio on it. My Wyndham's credit card. There, it's got Holly Scorpio. Holly? See? Oh, you could have forged these. It's true, Melissa. Well, I still don't believe it. No, you want it on. You'll do anything you can to try to get it. Including trying to convince us not to go to New York. That mm. isn't true. Oh, You'll have to do a heck of a lot more to convince me. Will this do? My good string, where did you get that? I followed you to Benny's. I knew how much this ring meant to you. I couldn't stand to see you hock it just to pay those crooks. Oh. So you paid to get it out. Yeah. Yes. Mm. So they really are ripping us off? Every single one of you. I'll oh. kill them. Oh. Yeah, well, we're down the line. I have two jobs trying to scrape up the money for this. Mm. You? I've spent all my savings. Because we know the kind of anything. Just one more minute, What's okay? What's going on? Just one more minute. You don't Please, know. I'll, I'll tell you in just a second, okay? Okay, girls, what do you say? Are you willing to help me get that creep? Yes! 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 And I'm going to tell you, I've got this plan, all right? Oh, all right. Just listen to me, and we'll fix them. <laughs> You've done very well, haven't you? What are you doing here? Making some inquiries. We'll tell you everything you need to know at the audition when we all get to New York. I'm not going to New York. And neither are you. What's this all about? I know everything. Good. Then you should do splendidly on your audition tomorrow. There is no audition. You don't even know Gilbert. Well, if that isn't gratitude... Let it talk. You took our money and you lied about the audition. You have no proof of that. Well, as a matter of fact, I do. And I'm going to report it all to the police. I see. Well, well, haven't you been the clever one? Not quite clever enough, I'm afraid. 
Get me some rope. Jeez, a towel, what something. What are we doing? We're tying her up and shutting her up. Then we're getting out of here. What the hell is that? I don't know. Just get rid of him. Ow! Get him! Get him! Hey, hey, go! 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 Get him! I don't know what this troublemaker of Paris has been telling you, but it's a lie! It's not true! What are you girls doing? Yeah! Stop! Ow! You're hurting me! Come on! 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 These are the ladies who are very happily going to testify against Hannibal and Irving. Right, ladies? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, I'll be there. Now, you said two o'clock. Right, it's uh, about two o'clock now, isn't it? You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> well? Holly, I didn't want you getting involved in this on your own. Listen, I'm not alone. I had 19 helpers. Now, listen right. to me. That is not what I'm talking about. I thought you would have been happy that I got them. Well, I am, but that's not the point here. Listen, maybe we should talk about this at home, okay? I mean, you certainly got your work cut out for you. What work? <laughs> Police work. Well, somebody has to book these two crooks. All right, get these two out of here. All right, let's go. Ah, come on, come on. Don't you just Ow. love it, ladies, when the men come in and take over everything? You know. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Am I interrupting? Not at all. What's this? Looks like a rap sheet. Oh, just something we're trying to track down. Ah. Missing persons? Uh, suspects? Oh, it's somebody that we've been trying to track down for some time now. Goes back about three or four months. No, you don't. This is how it all started last time. Aha, but look how well it turned out. You're lucky. Oh, I see. And skill had nothing to do with it. Plenty. I mean, you being in the right place at the right time probably saved a lot of unsuspecting people from being ripped off. So what does luck have to do with that? When you emerge from a dangerous situation with your scalp intact, it's luck and you ought to be grateful for it. Oh, I am. Eternally grateful. Now, tell me about this new case. First of all, it's not new. And secondly, if you think I'm dumb enough to give you that information, you should never have married me in the first place. Ooh, just wanted to help. Well, uh, it's a case of indecent exposure. Still interested? How old is the suspect? Take my age and double it. Hmm. That old? Probably older. Then you can have that case. What have you got for me? You make it a joke, of course. Well, it doesn't have to be anything too big, you know, maybe another suspected scam, or... How about smuggling or purse snatching or something like that? I suggest that you rest on your laurels. Oh, that was nothing. I'm looking for something much more challenging this time. Good. Got just the thing for you. Terrific. I want you to get some last-minute dinner reservations tonight. Ah, uh, fancier the better. Well, that's not terribly challenging. I mean, your name is Open Sesame. 
For how many people? And what is the occasion? Well, you see, Celia called me a couple of times last week, but I put her off. I said that you were busy. However, it's an opportune moment, and uh, it'll be a treat. You're right. I should keep up with our social obligations, especially with uh, Grant and Celia. It's been a while, you've got to admit. Oh, well, can't mix business with pleasure. True, but uh, you... No longer in business. Well, that's only temporary, I hope. <sighs> Look, um, we'll see about that. Um, you might enjoy the change of pace. I hope you're not suggesting that I retire. What I'm suggesting is that you stop messing with me and extend our invitations. Yes, sir, Mr. Commissioner. You're a stranger. That's why I called. Robert and I think we should all have dinner together. Oh, well, Grant and I would love to see you. I'll treat. Tonight, if it's convenient. Well, maybe it is. We're meeting someone there for dinner at the Versailles room at 6 o'clock. Uh, no, probably not for dinner. Probably just for drinks. So we can meet you at 7 somewhere. Okay, hold on. I'll check with Robert. Uh, Versailles room at 7? Yes, fine. Okay. Uh, the seven's fine. We'll have dinner at the Vest Iron, so long as you're there. Oh, wonderful. It's about time the Scorpios and the Putnams got together again. No, no, Andrews. Oh, sorry, I forgot. It's okay, I wish I could. Well, I'll make the reservation right now, then. See you there. 